gonna put a clip just showing you how I did it quickly. discovery natural I know you read the title and you're probably like okay really what is there to comb in natural hair but for some people they find it very hard to comb their hair it hurts and I hope that this tip that I share with you today will help you somehow in reducing the pain and this is what helps me out I am tender headed and that's why you don't see me doing a lot of tightly braided styles are very tender edit so I go for simpler updos and simpler bonds and styles like that. The first thing when it comes to combing natural hair is to know when to comb the natural hair. Some people comb it when it's dry. I don't agree to comb it when it's dry. I would rather want you guys to comb it when there's at least some kind of moisture in it because when it's dry, the hair tends to break more and even when it's too wet, it can also break more. So a medium part is important, maybe when the hair is damp. So usually I will start off my hair. This is my hair freshly washed and I just put it in this twist and I'll start off with my hair in twist like this sectioned off and you can also use um, you can also use butterfly clips that comes in handy so I just uh, get my hair and starting off with one section I'm gonna try with this section first so I gather the rest of the section away I make sure that the hair is damp not soaking wet but damp and also moisturized so now this is my hair. I'm going to use the Shea Moisture Kids Detangler. You can also create um, your own detangler. Just take some water, a little bit of leave-in conditioner and some extra virgin olive oil or some kind of oil that's slippery. Use that. So I take the hair that I want to comb and I just lightly spritz it like so and walk my fingers. In so that the moisture from the spritz or from the detangler helps. At this point, you can also put in a cream if your hair feels dry. Now, the next step is to take the hair and I'm going to do a light finger de detangling. Now, you might wonder why am I doing a light finger detangling? It's because if I go ahead right now and comb my hair, it will get stuck. Even if I start from the end, it will get stuck. And I want to minimize the amount of breakage that I'm going to see. So I just start with a light detangling. And all I'm doing is just sectioning the hair. And this is why it's a light detangling. I'm not doing a full blown detangling. I'm just breaking apart the hair so that all this tangled mess hair does not get caught in the comb. And it helps it go better. If you notice I started detangling it from the middle part now I take well make sure you take off your ring <laughs> now I take my hair and at the end I'm just gonna spread it a little bit kind of fan it out just to give the comb a little bit of hair next what I do is I start from the bottom the combs that you use actually really matters. I have a white tooth comb here that I normally use and I like this one because it catches it at the bottom thinly and it spreads it out at the top area. I also have this white tooth comb. This works really well too. It's an average, you know, equal amount of spacing so it glides through the hair really well. I also have, this is similar, it's a sh shower. You can put this in the shower and this is actually the same thing as this however you can see the width is different the spacing is different and then the afro pick which i do not use to comb my hair i just use it to pick up my hair so using my white tooth comb i start from the end okay if your hair needs moisture please add moisture to it so starting from the end, I'm working in my moisturizer or my detangler 
and I go slowly from the very end never start combing the hair from the root never so I start from the ends removing any shedded hair you can see how well it glides even remember when we put it in the middle remember how we got stuck now see see how well it glides so I walk my way from the ends now if I feel any tangle I stop right there and I'm sure there's a shedded hair as you can see and I just manipulate it carefully and remove that shedded hair so I start from the ends and I walk my way in one direction gliding my end gently to the very end so as I'm combing it I'm also working it all the kinks from the ends I don't force it through because that would not work especially if your hair is very curly like mine so now once I get to the very base I start doing this the way I take the comb I push it through like this going this way I push it through going that way and I push it through going this way I find that this helps me to get all the tangles out then I proceed to doing the same thing in one direction combing it getting it out and then I start the other direction combing it getting it out and once that is done you can see how well the comb now glides through my hair and with that you get minimum breakage you can just see some hair just a little bit of hair and this is how I minimize my breakage you can see this is my hair freshly combed I rarely comb my hair I finger comb most of the time however if you're someone that loves to comb your hair try out this method let me know how you like it let me know what has helped you when you comb your hair if you've not yet checked out vlog China, please check it out. It's called DN Vlogs Live. And also, don't forget to click, yes, the subscribe button. Love you guys, and thank you so much for watching. And thank you for commenting. Don't be scared to comment. Comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.